Okay, continuation on looking back at the history of the process so that in looking at it we may all learn something or may assist in the realizations. Looking at the point of the deletion of the white light. In the moment that the point emerged in its totality in terms of where, who and what everyone was in that singular moment. And remember this all happened in a, what you would call a breath. I looked at it and realized that the problem of the fuckness of existence is of such extent that nothing that was existing or that ever existed could be trusted and that we require a new beginning and in this new beginning we will find out who is real and who is not that means who actually can be trusted with life and who not and a singular act of equality was took place which was not able to be conceived it was inconceivable you could not think it up it was a complete expression of self here and in that singular moment the white light the soul construct and everything that, that went with it deleted as an action of placing everyone equal all knowledge was deleted so that no one can move according to their uh, the dog is barking at its reflection in the window so that no one can actually bark about their knowledge and their reflections of history which they would regard as so-called the nature of who they are because it's not true it's who you are in a single breath where you have no knowledge where only the truth of you exists that is where you know who you are and that is the part that will decide who you are at the moment of death a singular question who are you? This is now, at last, where we are at the place of man know thyself. The true meaning of what that means. It's not based on the knowledge of your past, the lives you've had before. It is based on who you are here in every breath and who you are in relationship with everything in existence. Whether you are in fact the forgiveness of equality, whether you are in fact here as life or whether you are only here in the interest of your so-called experience and what you know your old self interest that will help you no more it is all over common sense you can check it out for yourself that the only way we can solve the problem of the universe as if everyone is equal in knowing nothing so that we can deal with the real self and you will now and for years to come see the absolute evil spouting and spewing from the mouths and minds of people as they attack in every way possible to protect their so-called free choice but understand with everything and all knowledge deleted you, for the first time in your total existence, has got free choice. And the problem you're facing is just you. Because everything you are is now upon you. And is stimulated by your environment. I'm one of those things in your environment stimulating the evil inside you. And therefore you'll call me evil. <laughs> if you have any idea what evil is, look in the mirror. Look at your deeds, look at whether you are living equality as life here. It's a simple mathematics. Then you stop and you change you. Because if you can't change you, you're not real. 
That is the proof that is required by existence. That you truly, in realizing that you are not equal as life, will align yourself structurally in equality as life here. So for the first time, karma was actually operating and one now face the actual consequences of who you are. And that means not your deeds, who you are within your deeds. That's what counts, not what you do. It's who you are that decides everything. Stop fooling yourselves. This is, after all, an inevitability that the day had to come. Obviously in that moment I realized that it will take a little while. What's time? Time is but compressed memories. You can check it out when you're breathing. When you're breathing without thinking, you'll notice you have a lot of time. But when you're thinking, time seems to slip away. Obviously, you're not in the same zone. Be here. Live in equality. Be that which will determine the future of the world for yourself and everyone. And your children. And the animals. And the plants. And the universe. You cannot begin to imagine what is possible because everything you have ever made yourself believe was a lie. You have no foundation of imagination. You only have make-believe. One day, maybe, you may be able to imagine for real.